Hi, my friends. Welcome, welcome, welcome to Bedtime Stories. We're so glad you joined us this evening for tonight's Read Aloud. First of all, friends, before we get started, I want you to make sure you have a nice warm blanket. Hopefully you have your nice warm pajamas on. Get your stuffed animal if you have one to curl up with and get ready for tonight's featured read aloud. This evening we have The Snowy Day by Ezra Jack Keats. Boy, this is a favorite among children and Miss Donna's favorite as well. So let's get started and see what happens in our story. One winter morning, Peter woke up and looked out the window. Snow had fallen during the night. It covered everything as far as he could see. After breakfast, he put on his snowsuit and ran outside. The snow was piled up very high along the streets to make a path for walking. Crunch, 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 his feet sank into the snow. He walked with his toes pointing out like this. He walked with his toes pointing in like that. Then he dragged his feet slowly to make tracks. And he found something sticking out of the snow that made a new track. It was a stick. A stick that was just right for smacking a snow-covered tree. Down fell the snow, plop, on top of Peter's head. He thought it would be fun to join the big boys in their snowball fight, but he knew he wasn't old enough, not yet. So he made a smiling snowman and he made angels. He pretended he was a mountain climber. He climbed up a great big tall heaping mountain of snow and slid all the way down. He picked up a handful of snow and another and still another. He packed it round and firm and he put the snowball in his pocket for tomorrow. Then he went into his warm house. He told his mother all about his adventures while she shook off the, his wet socks. And he thought, and he thought, and thought about them. Before he got into bed, he looked in his pocket. His pocket was empty. The snowball wasn't there. He felt very sad.
While he slept, he dreamed that the sun had melted all of the snow away. But when he woke up, his dream was gone. The snow was still there, still everywhere. After breakfast, he called to his friend from across the hall and they went out together into the deep, deep snow. And that's the end of our story, boys and girls. The Snowy Day by Ezra Jack Keats. Friends, I'm sure that you could relate to that story because it's winter time and most of us where we live, it's snowy outside. And you probably have some of the same adventures that Peter had, like sliding down hills, walking and crunching your feet in the snow, making snow angels. Oh, there's so many fun things that you can do in the snow. I hope that you get a chance to get out and enjoy the winter season, friends. Thank you so much for joining us this evening for Bedtime Stories. Don't forget, wear your mask, wash your hands, and don't forget to brush your teeth, friends. You got it. Thank you so much again, friends. Don't forget, invite some new friends, share with your cousins, your aunties and uncles, so they can invite their children and their friends to join us for bedtime stories. All right, my friends. See you next time. Thanks for joining us. Bye, friends. Bye. Starts to ooze. I'm gonna sleep like a baby tonight. Hey, Mr. Moon in the sky, how about singing some sweet lullaby? I'll be here on my tummy or sack.